All right, let's take a look at Windows 10's new phone companion app. Along with Windows 10, Microsoft is releasing a number of applications to iPhones, iPads, and to Android devices that previously were exclusive to Windows, or at least better on Windows. Coming soon, you'll be able to download Cortana on both iPhone and Android. So what Microsoft is trying to do now is make it easier for people to use Windows 10 along with their other devices. So the phone companion app aims to guide people along that path so that they start to use Microsoft's services and become more familiar with them. I happen to have an iPhone, so I'm just gonna go through the process and see what it's like to sync up an iPhone or an iPad with Microsoft services. So as you can see, coming soon, you'll be able to download Cortana on an iPhone or an iPad. Already you have the option to download the OneDrive app and automatically sync your photos. Soon you'll also have access to the Groove Music app as well. There is a OneNote app, an Outlook app, the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint apps are also available, and you can also download Skype. So obviously many of us already know about this, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens when we say get started on one of these options. So first things first, in order to ensure that everything syncs up automatically, it's going to ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account. I already am, so this is already set for me. So now in order to make it easy to download the OneNote app on my iPhone or iPad, I simply just enter my email address and select the device that I want to download the application on. Now what's going to happen ultimately is it's going to send an email to me with a link to that app, which is going to take me right to the App Store to download that application. Now it's prompting me to make sure that I'm signed in with this same account information on my iPhone or iPad. And that's it. So this application is really meant for novices who are new to Microsoft services and haven't started using them yet on their other devices. That's it for Phone Companion. Thanks for watching.